Good evening, hockey fans, and welcome to the Ken Williams Southern Shore Arena. We are in Mobile, ready for game number three of the Herder Memorial Championship Series. The hometown Southern Shore Breakers looking to take a stranglehold on this series and go up three games to none. They won the first one here on home ice. They won game number two on the road. That was back on Saturday in Clarenville. And they're looking for some more home cooking here tonight on the Southern Shore. Thanks so much for joining us on AOTV. My name is Matt Little, glad to have you along for the ride. We are gonna have a presentation before we uh, drop the puck and get underway in this one. Referees out onto the ice, teams lined up, just getting ready to head on onto the ice, and here they come. Mark Yetman, goaltender, leads the Southern Shore Breakers to a wonderful round of applause and horns. Here tonight in Southern Shore, Yetman has been outstanding in these playoffs. Four and one record throughout the postseason, a 1.58 goals against, and a 946 save percentage, absolutely sparkling. Not to be outdone, number 29, A.J. Whiffin at the other end for the Clarenville Ford Caribous. He is 6-4 and 1 throughout the postseason, 3.18 goals against, and an 899 save percentage for Whiffin. No surprise to see either team going with their number one goaltending choice for this pivotal game number three. Big difference between a 3-0 and a 2-1 series, especially if that team that's down 2-1 is going back home for game number four on Saturday. Could be a completely different series by the time 60 minutes are done in this one. Time builder out here in the Southern Shore, Gerard mm -hmm. Sullivan, who I know is watching the stream right now. Thank you. 
anthem has been sung. We are ready for hockey here from the Southern Shore Arena. And I know you'd rather be here in the arena than watching it, Gerard, but fight that good fight. We'll have you back here. Game number three of this Herder Memorial Final between the Clarenville Ford Caribous and the Southern Shore Breakers. My name's Matt Little. Thanks so much for tuning into the broadcast. Promises to be a good one. Keys to the game for Southern Shore. Ride this crowd. They're still piling in here. And we're already jammed like sardines. For Clarenville, simple. They need the first goal in this hockey game. Clarenville have been fighting from underneath in every game in this series thus far. Southern Shore's gotten out to the early lead both times. Clarenville has stayed with them. Clarenville has fought back. But Southern Shore has a two games to none lead. If the Caribou want to make this a 2-1 series, they've got to strike first here tonight. Captains at center ice. Nicholas versus Delaney. Puck is dropped and we're underway. Clarenville wins the opening draw. Back to Thomas Hedges in his own end. Across the ice for Pender. He'll retreat behind the net and give it back to Hedges. Moved up the wall, Hedges. Giving it to Donaghy, not able to move through the middle. Southern Shore will look to turn it back. Delaney chasing a rolling puck into his own end. He'll send it back out to center. Spurl stopping it there for the Breakers. Over to Cadigan, into the middle, Nicholas. Nicholas tried to dump it deep, goes off a body as Donaghy collects in his own zone. Under some pressure down there. Pye chasing it down, but Clarenville sends it around and Pender will send it out. Both teams making some early changes as the Breakers send the puck back into offensive ice and it's cleared back out by Clarenville. Lead pass up ice, looking for Earl, too far for him. Spurl stopped it. And now tap back again and back to Spurl over on the far side of the ice. Tipped in from center. That'll allow Spurl to get off on a change as Houlihan goes behind the net, collides with Hedges. Hedges came up with the puck and moved it ahead to Earl as Clarenville get it out of their zone. Attempted dump in, Dalton stops that one. Abbott will find it in the corner for Clarenville. Pushed off the puck as Cadigan comes up with it. Tried to send it off the glass, hit a body. And the battle continues. Kevin Reed trying to box out Cadigan. Back to the line, shot through, deflects off of Dalton and didn't get to that back out in front. Abbott just missed it. And it's all the way back out to center. Good early pressure, good early scoring chance for Clarenville as the puck is dumped in. Southern Shore will send up the wall. Dyke got there to keep it in. It goes off Dalton and then is cleared away from the front of the net. Southern Shore tracking back behind their goal. Just about two minutes gone in this first period as we played without a whistle. Kennedy sending it across to the other side. It'll be dumped in by Daniel Dalton wearing number 82. Blake Dalton is number 39 for Southern Shore. There's a few double names on the roster. There is Blake getting a touch as he pounds that one in wide a goal. And we will get our first whistle as A.J. Whippen drops down and covers up the puck at the side of his net for the Clarenville Ford Caribous. No score here just past the two-minute mark of period number one. Shots on goal are 2-0 in favor of Clarenville. Brennan into the face-off circle for the home side versus Russell. Russell wins it for Clarenville. Back to Pender behind the net. He'll send it up the wall. Blackwood will chip it out. Goes back in, but Clarenville will skate out with it, avoiding a hit, and dumped in from center ice by Hedges. Russell will track it down. Cadigan shadowing him. Blackwood there as well. He gets tripped up, and the referee's arm goes up. And we got a penalty called early in the hockey game. That is one thing we've had throughout this series is very few penalties against both teams as Oates takes a slash right in the back of the leg and that's going to be a penalty on Clarenville. No, they're going to let him get away with that one? Ooh, I thought that was going to get evened up. No, they let the slash go after the whistle but they get the initial one as Blake Dalton goes off for the trip for Southern Shore. Right away, that puck cleared out into the neutral zone. Clarenville will reset. Dyke plays it into the middle. Delaney brings it in over to Donaghy on the right wing. Dyke keeping it in at the line. Back to Pender. Pender with a big drive just wide. Nicholas will fire it out. Chance to go for Brandon Pye. 
One man back, Pai, there, over to Nicholas, scores! A gorgeous passing play, short-handed, and for the third time in the series, the home side strikes first. One nothing, Southern Shore. Goaltender Whiffin left with no chance on that play. As Nicholas gets his sixth goal and eighth point of the postseason set up by Brandon Pye. Helper number seven, point number 10 for Pye. And the puck intercepted again and shot down the ice. Sixth goal, eighth point of the postseason. This one shorthanded for Nicholas. As Clarenville has trouble getting into the zone. They gotta wait for Earl to get back outside the line. Now he's there and they can go forward. Good news for Clarenville, they still have 50 seconds left in this power play, but Abbott's pass for Earl picked off. Southern Shore, thank you very much. They'll clear that one all the way down the ice and both teams will make a line change. Whiffen leaves it in behind the net for the defense and Clarenville starts back up ice along the near side here. With some speed, Hedges knocks it in. Hedges and Blackwood to the back wall. Southern Shore unable to get rid of it. Two men in there pressuring, but Hedges gets it back toward the blue line and kept in by Reed as those two had switched positions. Clarenville still on the puck. They look to get it to Blackwood along the back wall. Stick is checked by Cadigan. Still right there, and he dug it free, but Reed is waiting on the other side. Final 12 seconds of the power play. Reed moves it to the side of the goal. In front, a good whack at it down low by Sparks. And it's kept out by Yetman. And then cleared out again by Southern Shore just as the penalty expired. So Dalton jumps back onto the ice. We're five on five. No power play goal, but a shorthanded marker. And it's one nothing Southern Shore breakers early on in game number three. Pass down the ice. Missed the intended man as he had lost an edge. And we end up with an icing call, 440 gone in period number one. Just the one shot on goal for the home team, but it's the one that went in. As Pye came across and knocked that back pass over to Nicholas. Again, Whiffen with really no chance on the shorthand to goal for Southern Shore. And immediately we get another penalty interference as soon as they drop that puck. And this time it's going to be Stephen Oates goes to the penalty box for Southern Shore. So Clarenville goes back to the power play. We haven't played five minutes of this period yet. 4.44 gone here in the first. Interference, the call against number 29, Stephen Oates. Southern Shore won the draw, and they sent it all the way down the ice right to Whippen. Goaltender will give it to the big man, and Pender goes behind the net. Waits for his teammates to get where he wants them, and starts up ice. Drop for Delaney. Delaney over center, shoots it in from the blue line. In behind the net, Cadigan reaching for it, and they'll slap it back to the point, and it will get out. Dyke and Earl were both going for it, neither guy could get there in time. Pender will come out of his own zone again. Ahead for Donahue. Little kick pass over to Earl. On the attack, Chad Earl. From a sharp angle, put it in behind the net. Back at the blue line. And now along the half board for Delaney. Moved into the side of the goal. In front for Earl, not able to get good wood on it. And it's cleared out again by the Breakers. 50 seconds gone in the second power play here in the first period for Clarenville. They trail by one. St. George. Looking to protect the puck, but he's got help. Reed stumbled a little bit as he was trying to turn on the Jets to go around Upshaw. He'll take a lap instead and then dish off. St. George moving it ahead, only as far as the defense. That's shot down the ice. Goaltender's got to make a glove save and come out to play it around. Southern Shore really aggressive on the penalty kill. I suppose it already worked once. Why not? Shot down the ice. That was deflected, but from the wrong side of center. So we get another icing call against the Clarenville Ford Caribou. 36 seconds left to go in that penalty against Oates. 
of the Southern Shore Breakers. That's Stephen Oates, 29. Matthew Oates is 28 for the Breakers. Again, a couple of those double names up and down the lineup for both sides. Not as many for Clarenville tonight. Only one of the Reeds is in. Kevin wearing number seven. Uh, Mason Reed, number 19, not dressed tonight for the Caribou. As Clarenville brings it forward. And it is the aforementioned Reed firing it around the boards. All the way to the back. Sent back to the blue line, St. George. He'll feed the side for Reed. Sparks is in the middle. They'll give it back to St. George. St. George back to Reed. Reed into the middle. They get it over to Hedges. Didn't get anything on it. And it's kicked away by Yetman as he returned to five on five play. Reed kept that one in at the line. Russell will go behind the net. In front for Sparks again, but he's covered. And the rolling loose puck is covered up by Mark Yetman one more time. So the penalties are over. Clarenville 0 for 2 with the man advantage early on. 13.08. Still to go in period one. It is 1-0 Southern Shore Breakers. Shots are 5-3 in favor of Clarenville. And a face-off in the offensive zone for the Caribou. They win the draw. Blackwood, point shot. Just got the toe on it as Yetman stuck out that left leg. Good save. Here comes Upshaw. Dispossessed by Gooby as he went over the line. Matthew Oates will chase it into the corner for the Breakers. Turned over to Clarenville, out to center. Spurl takes control quickly to Cadigan and dumped in just wide of the net. Dyke protecting the puck as he went behind the net. Got it ahead and out. Not able to spring Blackwood as it's shot back in again by the Breakers. Matthew Oates, first guy to it again, but taken away by the team in white. Clarenville will move it forward. Skating in over the line, they're on side, trying to feed Blackwood on the wing. Spurl intercepted the pass. Upshaw and Pye now on the rush, two on two. Brandon Pye into the middle, looks to take a shot that's blocked. Fitzgerald able to get in the way. Pye had moved into the high slot in a good scoring position. Fitzgerald able to clog things up and still clogging it up down there in the corner. Four players, now the puck comes loose. Fitzgerald trying to get it up to a teammate. Finally, it is Kavanaugh back to the blue line. Long shot just wide. Pye was in front, not able to tip it on net. Long one from the point. Cadigan throwing it in and kicked aside by Whippen. Again along the wall. Kept in by the Breakers. Skating across the blue line. Still there. Farrell will throw it toward the goal off a of body. And Fitzgerald this time just going to slam it down the ice and take the icing call for Clarenville. 11.32 still on the clock in period number one. Shots are 6-4 to four in favor of the Caribou. They trail 1-0 here in the first. Glove down. As Houlihan dishes off, Brown, point shot, blocked off the skate to Delaney, didn't make it to the net. Brown behind the goal. Delaney trying to carry forward. The captain will find some space. Up over center, he'll fire it in from there, just wide of the net. Dalton, hard off the boards and out. Pender waiting back at center ice for Clarenville, over to Hedges. Hedges back to Pender, gets around one man, but not the second, as Chafe took it away. Chafe moves into the corner with Chaff, chasing him down. Or Hedges chasing him down. And then another penalty called as we get a hit in here and a trip. Chafe slams his stick in frustration as he heads back to the player bench. And being escorted to the penalty box is Thomas Hedges of Clarenville. So Hedges off for the trip. First power play of the game for Southern Shore. They've got a shorthanded marker. Can they find a power play one to go with it? Would certainly be a perfect start here in game number three if they could. Gadigan keeping it in at the point. Clarenville will find that one. Send it all the way down the ice. Yetman. He'll leave it for his defense. Gadigan makes a quick turn. Tries to fire it across, knocked down, but not controlled by Earl. 
who makes a line change. The Breakers pick it up in their own end. Cadigan will go for a skate this time around over center. Up to Brennan. Just went off his stick all the way in. Whippen wants to play it and then goes back into the net. Discretion the better part of Valor. Cadigan at the left point. Stripped away from him and sent out. And then Cadigan gets tripped up by the linesman. Well, he'll go off on a line change. Caribou being a little bit aggressive on the penalty kill as well. As Pender leaned into one, but it hit a body and falls to Kennedy. Across! That was a wide open cage, a tap in for Dalton. But he just couldn't get wood on it. And it's sent back out. Easily could have been 2-0. Kennedy and Dalton can't connect on that one. Kennedy will try again as he carries in with some steam. Kennedy around Pender. All the way behind the net. Still there. In the corner on the near side. He'll put it back in behind the net for Dalton. Flips it out to the side. It'll get back to the point and kept in by Southern Shore. Chafe in the corner. Sends it cross ice, but it goes off a stick. I think Delaney got his wood on that one. Get those sticks in lanes. Good job. Dalton fired in, but it came out. Everybody's got a tag up. They'll give chase now. But Pender will lift it high all the way down the ice. They'll just go wide to Getman, who's got to come out and play it. Keep it away from Reed. Final seconds of this power play as the Breakers carry in. Kavanaugh faked the big shot. Kavanaugh goes behind the goal. Kavanaugh comes back out into the slot and finally knocked off his stick by Reed. We are five on five once again, so three penalties in the game. No power play goals, just the shorty. And that is the only goal on the board. one nothing with 8.40 to go in period number one. Everybody looking for that puck after Nicholas tried at the side of the goal. Kavanaugh will send it in again. Scramble in the crease. That puck bounced away. Spurl trying to chip it back in there. Found by Clarenville. They'll knock it up the wall, but can't clear the zone. Pye slapped off of his stick. Earl wants to go after it, but Spurl, ever steady, keeps it away from him and sends it in. Southern Shore will make a line change. Upshaw stepping on. They pass it around him. Russell out to the far side for Earl. has got to turn back and play it to the defense, St. George. St. George gave it away. Upshaw chases into the corner. Pender, with that long reach, got his stick to it first and played it away. Back out, no icing here, as Cadigan has to chase it all the way back into his own end for Southern Shore. Cadigan will carry over center, all the way in over the blue line, and chases it all the way to the back wall. Played it around, where he had some support over in the near side, now picked up. And turned over, Blackwood with a nifty little back pass to get away. Over center, they'll dump in. Blackwood will chase it down, Dalton got there first and played it away. Blackwood provides a hit, but the puck was already out of there. Matthew Oates tending it ahead for Upshaw too far as Clarenville put it back to the center ice line. Matthew Oates, one more time, moves it forward. That'll be gloved down by Hedges, and he's gonna slam it in. They've got a tag back up on side. Still didn't do it, now it's sent out. And Southern Shore will play it in. Clarenville takes possession back in their own end. Sending it up the boards, Chafe will chase it down and get there. Chafe plays it out, couldn't hit Kennedy, tried the re wrap around, that didn't work either. As I got sticks in the way to make the block. Clarenville will backhand this one out. Cadigan waiting at center. Over to his D partner. Move forward, it'll go into some skates. Houlihan after it. Chopping it forward for the breakers. Now they'll get it in, Houlihan over, wide open wing, Kennedy scores! Burr down! Everybody over on the right side of the ice, only Kennedy on the left. And he had just enough space over the goaltender's glove as Kennedy rings it off the bar and down into the net. Fourth goal, eighth point of the postseason, 2-0 Southern Shore. Brilliant shot by Keenan Kennedy. Fourth goal of the playoffs, and it's 2-0 for the home team. Puck goes off a skate and kept in by Clarenville. St. George will try his luck wide. 
Out and shot back in by Dyke. Everybody tags up. If the Breakers have possession, they'll send it out. And then offside at the line again. Houlihan picking up the lone assist for Houlihan, his first helper and third point of the postseason. 6.08 to go here in period one. It is 2-0 Southern Shore Breakers over Clarenville. Game number three of the Herder Memorial Final. Southern Shore up two games to none as Pye puts one on net and the goaltender just becomes a statue with that puck in between the arm and the body. A.J. Whippen holds on. Shots are 7-6 in favor of Southern Shore now. Wide off the draw. Sparks trying to clear it out, but turned over to Southern Shore. Nicholas plays it out wide. Kavanaugh will drive it at the goal. And a save made right in the bread basket by Whiffen. And you can see it in the Southern Shore players. They're feeling it right now. They've got that shorthanded one. They've got that beauty we just saw by Kennedy as he sends it off the iron and in. These guys feeling emboldened right now as that one's gloved down. Trying to get it to the front of the net. Bounces a few places. Pender couldn't clear though. Spurl got his body in the way. Nothing flashy from Spurl, but he's always got the body in the right position to be able to make a block, make a play. Kavanaugh out in front, hops over the stick of pie. Spurl will settle down. Spurl shot blocker save through a lot of traffic and two players tied up at the side. Kavanaugh Given the gloves to Delaney. Delaney's lost a stick and he's just not biting. Kavanaugh and Delaney will be separated. Kavanaugh will go to the penalty box. And it looks like he is gonna have company. Both guys will go. Roughing, roughing. So we're gonna stay five on five as those two will cancel each other out. Chafe in the face-off circle for the Breakers against Reed. He's able to win it back to the point. Cadigan kept it in. Abbott not able to get it out under pressure from Houlihan. Bouncing puck in the corner. Reed trying to get control for Clarenville. He will, then it's taken off his stick. Pender reverses directions, but the puck taken away again by the Breakers. Lots of pressure in the offensive zone from the home side. Finally, Earl able to get a stick to that one and backhand it out. Race down the ice after it. Cadigan will win the race, and that's not easy against Abbott. He can fly. Back down the ice. Oates couldn't handle it. Neither could St. George, but slapped back the other way. Earl reaches, gets it, sends it cross ice for Reed. Reed is a man in front of him, so he's going to turn. They'll try again. Ahead for Earl, but it went off his skate as he was unable to control cleanly. Fitzgerald's got just a stick on that one, able to knock it free back to his defense. And Clarenville try and take it behind the net. Upshaw providing some pressure. Reed moves in to help out. Back at the line. That one did not come out. Upshaw cut off as he tried to go to the net, though. Good stick by St. George. Clarenville will move forward, get the puck into offensive ice. Connor Donahue throws it behind the net. Russell trying to feed it out in front for Fitzgerald. Didn't work. And knocked out. Oates firing it in, kicked away by Whiffen as he puts it into the corner. Great control by both of these goaltenders. When that puck comes off of them, it's straight into the corner every single time.
All the way back out at center ice as Clarenville tries again. Moving it forward, Russell. Russell gets it into offensive ice. Chasing it down, they'll give it to Walsh, but knocked away from him. Donahue, cross ice, shot. Yetman comes across, he made the stop. Donahue throws it back out in front, it's in! Off of Russell and into the net. And Clarenville's on the board, make it 2-1. to one. Yetman made an amazing stop on that first one, just got it. But Clarenville hustled, they got that puck in behind the net, got it out in front. And it should be Nick Fitzgerald's first goal, second point of the postseason, as Clarenville gets within one. Just three minutes to go in the period. Delaney and Kavanaugh oh, wanted to come out of the box. They can't now as play's underway. Shot right in on to Yetman. Cleared out by the breakers. Southern Shores Spurl gets to the center ice red line and fires in. Round behind the net in the Clarenville zone. Nicholas is there. Nicholas moving it back to the point for Spurl. Spurl through traffic but well wide. Able to get it out, here comes Blackwood. Up the right wing for Clarenville. Blackwood into the middle, can't get the shot on net. Sparks in behind the net, around for Blackwood. Back for Sparks. Tips it over for Dyke here in the near side. And Dyke not able to put it in as it's sent out by the breakers. Dyke has to chase a puck rolling up on its edge all the way inside his own blue line. Stopped up at the line, they'll feed Houlihan on the rush. Houlihan shot, goalie made the save, puck came loose. Follows it across, Whiffin tracked it well. Able to keep it out of the net on the rebound. Cadigan, point shot. Whistles just wide on the rebound. Houlihan had a stick lifted by Dyke. The official announcement on the goal. Russell from Hedges as it goes to three. Dalton from the point finds a way home. Southern Shore back on top by two. Dalton let go the shot. Chafe is the one leading the line, given the fist bumps. So he might have redirected that one in. I will again wait for the official announcement of the goal. But it is Russell, second goal, sixth point of the postseason for Clarenville and the assist went to Hedges, his fourth and fifth point overall. And Southern Shore scores at 18-19. That's a 3-1 game in favor of the Breakers. Breakers moving in tight on goal. Everybody in there and a penalty coming. It'll be against Clarenville as they touch up the puck and the penalties call. All right, changing that around as Hedges is going to go off here for cross-checking. Just 117 to go in the period as we get the cross-checking penalty against Thomas Hedges. The goal for the Breakers, they give it to Kennedy, 61. Mike Chief getting an assist as well as Cadigan. I'm pretty sure it was Dalton that took the initial shot. So considering he's not even in there amongst the three, that's impressive. Uh, 105 to go in the period as the Breakers work the power play. Ahead for Pye on the left wing. Cadigan sending it from one side of the ice over to the other. 45 seconds, lots of time in the period. Cadigan will try his luck, that's deflected wide. Down 
Down along the near side, reaching for it is Pender. Couldn't get there. Pye across to the other side. What a glove save as Whiffen comes across to the left. Gets that glove up and takes the puck away. Brennan had a great opportunity. Whiffen says not today. 27.3 seconds remaining in this first period. 3-1 Southern Shore Breakers. Clarenville able to win the draw and get it out to center. They went back in, but everybody still hadn't tagged up. Now off a read and down the ice for Clarenville. Can he go shorthanded? No. Uh, it's knocked away from Reed. Cadigan. Over to the right side and skating into the middle. Dumped in by the breakers. Nicholas will go after it along with Dyke in behind the net. Pye tries to throw it out in front. Goes off the skate of Pender. And that's the last action for the first period. So a fantastic start for the home team. Southern Shore Breakers lead the hockey game by a score of 3-1. After the opening 20 minutes, shots on goal were 16 to nine in favor of Southern Shore. And it's the Breakers who still have 43 seconds worth of power play time to go over to the start of period number two. An action packed period. The shorthanded goal got us started at 252. Nicholas on a great setup by Brandon Pye. The lead increased by Kennedy as he goes bar down at 13.30. Clarenville gets it back at 17.01. Russell with the goal set up by Hedges, making it a 2-1 game. And then that 2-1 game didn't last very long. It's just 18-19, just over a minute later. We had the goal second of the night by Keenan Kennedy. Set up by Chafe and Cadigan. And that has made it 3-1 in favor of Southern Shore through 20 minutes. Again, 43 seconds of power play time coming up at the start of period number two. Don't go anywhere. Great game going on in game number three of this Herder Final.
Welcome back to the Ken Williams Southern Shore Arena. It's time for game number, or period number two in game number three of the Herder Memorial Championship Final. Final series of the Avalon East Senior Hockey League. Two teams left standing. The Southern Shore Breakers and the Clarenville Caribous. Southern Shore leads the series two games to none. And they're up by two goals after the opening 20 minutes here in Mobile. 3-1, Southern Shore Breakers. They get the first two, including the first one coming shorthanded. Clarenville got within one. And Southern Shore reestablished a two-goal lead, and they've still got 43 seconds worth of power play time with Thomas Hedges in the box for Clarenville to start the second period. It's exactly what I said off the top of the hockey broadcast tonight was Clarenville can't be fighting from underneath. They fought from underneath for two games already in this series, and they've started doing exactly the same thing here in game number three. Falling behind early, and in both game one and game two of this series, they've stuck around, they've made it close, they've scored some goals, but they've surrendered early leads, and they haven't been able to fight out of these holes thus far. Will their fortunes be different tonight? We have now less than 40 minutes to find out as the Breakers try to move it back to the line, but the nets come off. That'll get us a play stoppage. 26 seconds remaining in the power play. And with Hedges in the penalty box. Shots are 16 to nine in favor of the home side as they line up for the face off to the right of Whiffen. Face off is won by Clarenville in the defensive zone and Pender will send this all the way down the ice. Dalton trying to glove it down, snow coned out the top. Still get control in over the line, right back out by Clarenville. Back in, back out. As Clarenville knocks it back down to the opposing blue line. Southern Shore will skate it back in on the left wing this time. Puck knocked off the stick and sent out by Clarenville. Hedges is out of the box. He's going to rush over to the player bench, and Earl will jump onto the ice to replace him. Pass intended for Earl. Was broken up in the neutral zone. Kavanaugh picks it up. He's on the rush. Kavanaugh boxed out by Pender as the puck rolls down to the net, and that'll be covered up by goaltender Whippen. Face-off is won by Clarenville. Reed did the honors and sent out. Spurl stopping it there, but that's touched with a high stick. That'll blow the play down. You can tell more on some, some songs than others. Definitely a mono sound system here at the Ken Williams Southern Shore Arena. But no matter how it sounds, ACDC always gets the crowd pumped. Smith firing it in from center, just wide of the goal. Found by the breakers, they'll look to send the puck out. Earl was there to block it. But it gets out, Chafe is away. He's got Houlihan with him. But slapped away by Clarenville over to the boards. Back at the blue line, kept in by Spurl. He'll throw it through, deflected wide off a of body. Houlihan's in the middle calling for it. He won't get there. Instead, it'll go to Chafe in the corner. Back in behind the net. Houlihan causing problems as Clarenville looks to get rid of the puck. The fans like the contact as Southern Shore wins control of the puck. Round for Dalton. Back the line. Spurl just too hot to handle as he couldn't get himself in position quick enough. Both teams making line change as Clarenville intercepts in neutral ice. Reed will play it back to his defense. St. George for Delaney, just missed him. That'll go down and they will call icing against Clarenville. 17.48 still on the clock in period two. 3-1 game. 
Southern Shore Breakers in front here in game three. Brennan and Delaney in the face-off circle. Now well, Brennan gonna be waved out. He'll argue a little bit, but that was one of the least square face-offs I've seen in quite some time. Dalton winds up a big shot after his team won the draw, but it's blocked and didn't get through. Knocked out, Abbott in a race after it, but Dalton played it away before he got there. Hedges to center, he'll fire in. Came off the backboards back in front of the net, that'll be covered up by Etman. As Delaney gets pushed away from the crease. Delaney's been involved in a few pushing matches in and around the Southern Shore net. And his own for that matter in the hockey game. A big guy, but doesn't seem like he's one that's likely to really mix it up down there. Certainly would be some willing participants on this team, I think. Sparks sending it in for Clarenville. Brown back there in his own end for Southern Shore. He'll take possession. Move it ahead for Brennan. Brennan up ahead, Oates. Stephen Oates couldn't handle it. Turned back, Dyke sends it across, looking for Gooby, but too far for him. Dalton will go behind the net. Both of them there. And a big collision between Blackwood and Blake Dalton. Meanwhile, down the ice, shot goes just wide of Whippen. A bit too far for Blackwood as it came out. Everybody's got a tag up. Brown and Blackwood having a discussion before everybody gets back into the play, focused on the puck. Takes a deflection off the skate here. It'll be picked up by Gooby. He'll rifle it in just from the right side of center ice. Yetman nearly gave it away in behind the net, but held on to. Kept in by Clarenville. Earl jumping onto the ice. St. George couldn't hold the line. He'll win it right back, however. And St. George looks to put it in deep. Saw Brown coming, had to stop and absorb the hit. Two guys back the other way. O'Driscoll dispossessed by Connor Donahue. Well done. Move forward up to Donahue. Pushed out wide by Upshaw. Back outside the blue line. Loose puck. Unable to gather it up. Was St. George. It'll be fired in by the Breakers. Clarenville from behind their net. Pass through the middle, bounces off the stick of Reed. Turned back the other way. Brandon Pye backhanding it in off the glass. Pender's gonna go behind the net. Kavanaugh there with him, but Pender able to move it around the boards. Pye holds it in. Will bounce in behind the net to the corner of the near side. Kavanaugh back to the line. Spurl unable to hold that blue paint. Southern Shore quickly moves it around right back into the offensive zone, but broken up as the player fell in front. As Pye was trying to bring it in again. He'll get another chance here along the side. Moved forward for Nicholas, couldn't handle it. Pender will send it out. Good pass to Delaney. Drops for Reed. Reed, shot, save is made and held on to. No rebound off Mark Yetman. We know Reed's got a laser beam of a shot when he lets that thing go. And Yetman in perfect position to make the stop. Just past the five minute market period, number two, still a 3-1 game. Southern Shore Breakers lead it here in game number three. And they win the draw on their own end of the rink. Dalton, long pass up. Unable to connect cleanly with Chafe. Icing called against the Breakers, and the faceoff come back down to their end of the rink. Defending the near side, down by the canteen, the front doors in the second period. Delaney into the faceoff circle. For Clarenville, wins the draw as he so often does. Smith will fire it through. That hit the outside of the post as nobody picked that one up going through the crowd. Clarenville Russell finds his man. Dyke with a shot in front. Delaney not able to pull it to his forehand. 
he had to lift it up over the goaltender's leg who had the bottom covered and was just unable to do it quick enough. Abbott will take it out of his own end. Sees a man coming, moves it ahead for Delaney. Russell hustling toward the net. Delaney looking for more options, looking for Abbott. Brown with a great defensive stick to keep that one away from Abbott. Back out. Dalton on the rush. Dalton trying to drag around Smith. He got himself around, but not with the puck. Still, good hustle, good play by Daniel Dalton. Clarenville will get it back out to center. Breakers take possession, measure, and fire in. Through the middle now, Delaney gets himself to center. He'll send it in and go off on a change. Oldford after it, along with Cadigan. Oldford got it out into the middle. Gooby got there in time, but a defensive stick knocked it away from him. Two on one the other way with Hedges back. Shot save made by the keeper into the high slot. Oates with a shot, another stop by Whippen. Another big drive from the point. That one goes just wide. Walsh keeps it in. At the point for Southern Shore, back in behind the net. Hedges collides with his man back there and then jumps on the puck. He'll move it ahead. Missed Fitzgerald. It'll go down the ice. No icing call as Getman stops it. And then uh, covers it up in front of his net as Gooby had chased it down the ice. So we still do get a faceoff here with 13-11 still on the clock in period two. All the scoring in the first period. 3-1 game in favor of the Breakers. Face-off controlled by Southern Shore. Spurl tried to go behind the net, had it knocked off his stick, but his teammates follow up. That one did just come out. Clarenville trying to argue that it didn't, but the linesman's already blown the play down, so that won't get you very far. Face-off outside the blue line now. Good effort to try to keep that one on. Number one defense unit of Pender and Hedges back out onto the ice. Pender pass right onto the stick of somebody wearing the wrong colored shirt. As Southern Shore moves it in, Pai redirects it on net. And a nice save by A.J. Whiffen as he stays with that one and makes a stop. Brandon Pye, the former Truro Bearcat, always dangerous. He's offensive, he's physical. He's been more offensive in this game. Setting up the first one and nearly netting his own there and a good redirect. Southern Shore won the draw back at the blue line, just kept in, but Clarenville are going to be able to play it out. Cavanaugh under pressure from Donahue. Did find it up to a teammate. Nicholas fired it in. Pye got there before Hitches. Moved it to Cavanaugh in front for Nicholas. Pender in front of him. Probably the only thing that prevented that from being knocked into the back of the net. Loose puck knocked away from Earl. And back in comes Nicholas of the Breakers. On his backhand here. Nicholas will fire it in deep for Pye. Collides with Hedges. And Earl comes up with the puck. Chad Earl will go for a skate, trying to spin around Upshaw. Didn't work. And brought back in. O'Driscoll trying to go through the middle. And Hedges was able to knock the puck free. O'Driscoll does get a shot away here. Ripped it just high and wide. Dalton measures. Fires through traffic. O'Driscoll looking for a rebound. Can't find it. And it's cleared out by Clarenville. This one doesn't have the legs for icing. Caribou will rush to try and get a line change in. They will. And then a great play by Dyke. He sees Abbott. Feeds the puck forward for him. Abbott can't get a shot on goal as the Breakers turn it back. O'Driscoll playing it out. Matthew Oates will track it down. Got through the big hack from Dyke. Oates throws it onto the back of the net. Play continues as the puck comes loose and Abbott sending it out. It'll bounce off Russell. He'll chase it down, but it's played back out by Southern Shore. St. George back in his own end, moves it into the middle for the Caribou. They find Delaney. Delaney skates in over the blue line, out wide on the right side. Delaney double teamed, but he gets the puck down to Russell. Great play, can they make something happen here? They'll get it back to the line. 
Right side over to the left for St. George. St. George fires through. Russell had his stick up, trying to get a redirect on it. Couldn't do it. And it's played back out. It'll bounce past Dyke. And Kennedy will bounce off him and go around. A couple of fans wanted an interference penalty. You're not going to get that one. Kennedy will get himself loose here in the corner to find the puck again. Works it to the side. Hulahan was there. Goaltender comes out with the stick and slaps it away. Make sure there's no shot. Approaching the halfway point of the hockey game as Walsh keeps it in at the right point. Around behind the net, Houlihan moves it to the boards. Back to Walsh at the point again. Walsh creeping in, fired, that just went wide on that far side, and Clarenville does enough to get it out. Then Blackwood collides with the linesman. He's got to try to jump on top of the boards to get away from him. Gooby will chase it down in the offensive zone all the way in the corner. Some of his teammates changing behind him, but he's got support now. Blackwood will go to pick it up. Taken away by Southern Shore. Oates will get it out, but right onto the defense. Pender to Hedges. He'll rifle it in. Blackwood will chase it down on the black back wall. Collides with his man, but Southern Shore comes through with it. Move it ahead for Oates. Oates had it poked off his stick. They're just on side as they get it to Sparks. Sparks will drive it just wide. Rebound came off the backboards, but nobody in white able to capitalize. Now Blackwood and Gooby working down in the corner. They'll get it back to the line for Hedges. Hedges had it poked past him, and he's in a race with Kennedy. Kennedy loses the edge and goes down, and Hedges is able to protect the puck, move it to Gooby. He's at the end of a shift. He's just going to fire it in, and all three forwards will change. Donahue, Reed, and Earl jumping onto the ice. Tip to negate the icing as Clarenville picks it up in their own end. Donahue unable to get free as Kavanaugh blocks things up. Clarenville has to work to keep it away from Kavanaugh, who's going to send it back toward his defense. Now Spurl just try to get himself in the way of Earl and let that puck go all the way back to the net. He does, and that'll be covered up by Yetman for a faceoff. 8.57 remaining in period number two. Three. One. I looked up at the scoreboard, it said 3-2, and then went back to 1 for just a moment. The timekeeper sneezed, hit a button, it happens. St. George toward the goal, that one will drift wide. Smith there at the point on the other side, he'll put it back behind the net, just out of the range of Dunahee. Bouncing toward the net again, stopped by Yetman and taken by the breakers as they give it to Pye. Pye trying to move it forward for Nicholas. Broken up by Donahue. And that'll be sent in. Kavanaugh in a race for it. St. George, big whack with the stick. Keeps the puck away from number 44 in Maroon. Long pass through the middle to nobody. That'll go all the way down the ice for an icing call against Clarenville Caribou. With 8.19 to go in this second period. Shots are 20 to 15 in favor of the Southern Shore Breakers. They lead it three to one here in the second period. Pender sending the puck out of his own end, but that's up high and out of play. He'll do that face off over again, down in the Clarenville zone. Matthew Oates in the face off circle against Delaney. And Delaney able to win the draw. Clarenville picked off though, Oates went toward the net. Not the goaltender moving the wrong way, but he kicked out that leg. Good stop by Whippen, good reaction. Tipped down the ice here. Dalton went to get it. They're able to clear it out. Dyke jumping onto the ice. He'll get possession. Weak pass, though. Oates is able to get a stick on that one. Didn't get away clean, but he did direct it down to Whippen, who has to cover it up and forces another faceoff down inside the offensive end for Southern Shore. 7.51 remaining in the second period. Face-off one by Clarenville again. Bouncing through the middle, Earl. Looked like it went off the back of his skate, turned back up ice. Kennedy. 
Taken away from him by Smith, sent around the boards. All the way back out to center ice. Southern Shore will send it off the wall. Reed made the block. And Southern Shore will get it back. Kennedy now racing in on the right side. Kennedy fired a shot, partially blocked by Smith that went wide. And as it comes out of the zone, just out of the range of Chad Earl. Down the ice, Smith knocks that one up into the roof. Now we'll get another play stoppage with 7-11 to go in this second period. Clarenville will send some new bodies out onto the ice. Earl amongst the guys taking a seat. And, and is it just me or has Earl really been snake bitten in this series? I mean, I know he's one of the most talented guys out here on the ice. I've certainly seen him play at several levels coming up along the way. And the puck just does not seem to want to cooperate with him throughout this entire series. It always seems to be just half a stride out of place. But, you know, something like one goal might really change that. Momentum works in funny ways. In behind the goal. Southern Shore dig it out. Try the backhander at the goal. It goes just wide. Back to Spurl at the point. Keeps it in with the body. Moves it into the corner for Oates. He shrugs off a hit there. But Dalton back to the line. Cadigan was not able to keep it in. Everybody's got to come out of the zone. Dumped in. Too hot to handle for Whippen. Brennan aligns with Hedges along the backboards. Puck squirts loose and is grabbed by Pender. Pender sends it forward looking for Fitzgerald. Spurl got a stick on it. Turned it over. Now ahead for Kavanaugh all by himself. Kavanaugh in on goal. Kavanaugh no stop by the Whippen. And the net comes off the moorings as Whippen's forced back. Bringing play to a stop, but what a job by A.J. Whippen keeping his team in this hockey game. As that came to Kavanaugh, he was in his own area code. Tried to wait out that goaltender. Whippen would not make the first move. Finally tried to stuff it underneath him, and the two of them really just came together. Kavanaugh was out of space. The patience and the reaction time by Whiffen. 21 saves on the night. Into the middle, that'll deflect off a leg wide of the goal. Nicholas will pick it up. Pye waiting for a pass that never came. Sent out, Dalton unable to glove it down. Cadigan will pick up the puck in his own end. Off the wall. Grabbed by Clarenville. They'll get back on side as Delaney will come in. Russell goes to the backboards, but just out of his reach. Delaney going after it now in the corner. Has a man in front of the net. They just can't get on the puck. Still calling for it as Russell. It's in behind the goal as Abbott tries to win it back now from Cadigan. Gives him a shove, but Cadigan just got the body in the way. Abbott wasn't going to get to that. It'll go down the ice, be covered up by Whiffen, and he's forced to hold on as Nicholas was chasing it down. Another face-off coming in the Clarenville end with 5.16 to go in the second period. Shot on, Whiffen knocked it down. Reed getting it to the outside. Donahue tried to go cross ice. That was broken up. I think his intended target was going off in a line change anyway. Sparks trying to get it. Now in behind the net. Reed gave chase, but played away before he could get there. Hedges comes in off the point to keep it alive for Clarenville. Up and now over top of Hedges. Back down the ice. Three guys racing after it. Whippen comes out and plays it away from Houlihan. Back in behind the net. Pender sees it, gets it. Quickly to Hedges. Back to Pender. And up ahead to the forward unit. Donahue starts moving forward. Gets in on the right side. Donahue waits for support. Moves it into the corner. As Clarenville was making a line change. They've got five guys in there now, but Southern Shore's on the puck after they won it out in the corner. Upshaw brings it down the ice. Three on two, shaping up, three on three. Upshaw, oh, scores! 
Matthew Oates is first of the playoffs. And it's 4-1 Southern Shore Breakers. Fifteen fifty-two gone in the second period. First goal, first point of the postseason. Couldn't come at a much better time for Matthew Oates. There's Fitzgerald. Caribous need the next one to get themselves back in this hockey game. Upshaw gets the lone assist. As it's in front, Fitzgerald not able to lift it in. Upshaw getting his fourth helper, seventh point of the postseason. St. George lifting the puck high in. All the way into the corner. Rolls back out over the line. Blackwood will take possession. Look to send it in. It hit the linesman. Gooby with the second effort. He got it deep. Knocked out, Blackwood knocked it down. Hedges comes in to pick it up. They're on side as Hedges plays it deep and the defenseman goes after it himself. But played away by the breakers. They see a man up ice, they do get the puck to him, but by now, the fresh defenders are on for Clarenville as Whippen plays it away. Not able to clear the zone, breakers fire in. That one redirected off of a high stick. So if that had gone in the net, it wouldn't have counted. Cadigan faked the big shot in, let everybody get on side, gave it to Dalton. Dalton moving in, shot, tried to go five hole, and Whippen squeezes the pads together and denies Blake Dalton. Great save by A.J. Whippen, and he's got 23 on the night. The goaltender's done well, but as I've already said in this series earlier, he needs some run support. 16 shots on to Yetman. Almost through two periods, that is not enough for Clarenville. As Spurl let it go from the point, and another good save made. Here's a chance for Earl to go, and Cadigan knocks it off his stick. Earl in a good offensive position, and Cadigan with just one flick of the stick. Two on one now, Brennan across, and they pull that across the face of goal. Just got in too deep and couldn't pull the trigger right away. Pearl back at his own blue line for Southern Shore. Brennan will fire it in. Whiffen's going to stop that, let St. George pick it up as Southern Shore finishes a line change. St. George to Reed, back to the D. Now up ahead, Donahue. Donahue unable to do anything with it as another one goes into the stands with 1.52 to go in the second period. 4-1, Southern Shore breakers over Clarenville Caribous here in game three. Southern Shore leads the series two games to none. And if they hold on here, the herder will be in the building Saturday in Clarenville. Dalton wrapping it around the boards for Southern Shore. Not out of the zone though. Back in behind the net. Dalton lost an edge, but he gets back up. Daniel Dalton starting out from behind his net. He'll play it over some open space. Takes a bit of a hack from Oldford, but gets the puck in deep. Whiffen will let it go into the corner. Hedges there to pick it up. Hedges puts on the brakes and plays the puck to the near side. Pender who had some space up ahead for Fitzgerald. Gooby's rushing toward the net. Can Fitzgerald hit him with the pass? Instead, he gets hit and knocked down by Dalton. Around the boards, Hedges there on the other side to keep it in. Throws it at the net, and that went off a defensive stick before it got to Gooby. One minute, one minute, seven, three. Play stop with just 58 seconds to go in the second period. Face off inside the southern shore end. 
Clarenville's best faceoff man is on the ice in Delaney. If they can win the draw here and snap one home quick, make it a two-goal game again, give themselves some momentum going into the third. And they do win the draw, but Pender can't hold the blue line. Pender across for St. George. He'll send it in. Speedy Abbott picks up the puck. Abbott pinned against the wall, throws it deep into the corner. Delaney fighting for it. Abbott comes in to help out. Delaney will get it back to the point for St. George. St. George moves it in for Earl. Earl in the corner, throws it in front. Goaltender made the save. The rebound comes all the way back to the line where Pender kept it in. Another one at goal and a blocker save made. Clarenville back to the line. Pender tried to send it across for St. George. Puck didn't do what he wanted. Kennedy intercepted, brought it down the ice. Final 20 seconds of the period. All the way to the back wall. Abbott just holding up his man. Puck was still there. Southern Shore kept it in. Drop back to the line, Spurl. Spurl just throws it around the backboards, content to just waste time here at the end of the period. Shot out by Clarenville. Spurl will take possession, and that's it for period two. One goal on the board in the second period, and it's one more for the home fans to get excited about. Southern Shore Breakers with a 4-1 lead over Clarenville through 40 minutes here at the Ken Williams Southern Shore Arena in Mobile. 20 minutes left to settle this one. See if Clarenville can find that spark and ignite the offense that's so far been missing. They've got 20 minutes left. Third period's on the way. Stay with us. It's 4-1 to one in game number three of this Herder Memorial Championship Series.
ready to go with period number three from the Ken Williams Southern Shore Arena here in Mobile. It's game number three of the Herder Final. Southern Shore in the driver's seat. They lead the series two games to none, and they've got a three-goal lead with 20 minutes left to play in this one, up 4-1 over the Clarenville Ford Caribou. Southern Shore can hold on. And the trophy will be in the building on Saturday night. That's game number four of the series in Clarenville. 7.30 start, as all games in the series are. And we will have the stream for you on AOTV. The Caribou would like very much for the trophy not to be presented on their ice on Saturday but they've got to find some goals if they don't want to see that happen. Southern Shore has scored first in every game in the series. And there was just one goal in that second period late. Once again, to Southern Shore. And Clarenville needs to break out of this slump and score some goals here in this third period. They've got the tools. They need some more shots on goaltender Mark Yetman. We are underway as Pender leaves it behind his goal for Hedges. Hedges will play it to the side. Only out to the middle, and Cadigan slapping it back in from center. That puck cleared the zone all by itself. Abbott tried to send it back to the defense. The linesman got in the way, but Clarenville maintains possession as Russell fires in. Yetman will come out of the net, play it along the wall. Hedges battling to keep it in for Clarenville, and he does. In behind the net, Abbott. Abbott at the side of the goal, got it out to a man in front. Delaney trying to get a stick on the ice. Instead, it's the goaltender who made the poke with the stick and got that thing out of danger. Great job by Yetman to hold his post and then use the active stick. Shot in, just missed a chance for Southern Shore as they had a man go into the net and just out of the reach to poke that one in. Clarenville will send it up ice. Connor Donahue playing it to Earl, trying to drag through the defender. Puck was knocked free, but Reed follows up. Donahue going to fire in and let Reed and Earl chase it. Southern Shore will play it out only as far as St. George at center. He'll dump in. Earl will tag up on side, and Reed goes after the puck. But Southern Shore has possession. Breakers move it up to Kennedy. He's over center. He'll dump in. Whiffen's going to stay in the net as Houlihan goes to give chase along the back wall for the breakers. Looking to get it in front. They'll play it back to the point instead. Daniel Dalton sending it back now in behind the net. Houlihan drops it off there. Kennedy going after it. Being guarded by St. George. Shakes him off. Kennedy back to the line. Brown. Brown will tee it up and a great save with lots of traffic and sticks in front. Couple of players looking for a redirect in front of the net. And Whippen makes the catch and holds on, no rebound. Shots are 28-18 in favor of the Southern Shore Breakers. As they go out to center ice and dump it in on goal, blockered away by the keeper as Southern Shore was tagging up on side. Clarenville will come out of their end. Chopped in by Earl. Goaltender comes out, played it, tried to play it away, but he played it off of Earl. However, the puck goes all the way back, went in between the defenders and down the ice. Players will go into the corner after it. St. George gets knocked down. Stephen Oates couldn't handle it. Sent around the boards, but kept in by Dalton. He rips it high over top of the crossbar. All the way back out to center ice. Cadigan on the puck. He'll feed it over to the side. Now drop back. Now shot in deep. Southern Shore chasing it around. Clarenville will get to it and send it out. Brennan sending it back to Cadigan. Now coming in again, Brendan. This time on the right side. He'll fire at goal. And a good save made down in the butterfly. Closing up that five hole is Whiffen. And he'll hold on once again. Exactly what Whiffen needs to do right now. Anytime that puck comes near him. Make sure he's got it. Make sure there's no rebound. Take the defensive zone face off. Just settle it down. 
If Whiffen can see it, he's probably going to stop it. It's those panicky movements where the puck's bouncing around in front of your net, where it's loose at the top of the crease. That's what you got to avoid. Hedges to Pender, puts it right in on goal. And the other goaltender also taking no chances, as that was scooped up by the glove of Yetman, and he'll hold on to that one. Three minutes gone in this third period. 4-1 breakers in game three. Face off down to the breakers zone as the captains meet its, the face off dot. Nicholas versus Delaney. Nicholas won this one. He'll bank it off the glass, but not out. Yes, it did. Pender was trying to glove it down. He couldn't quite hang on. It came out over the line in Southern Shore with lots of time as Clarenville had to come outside the zone. High ahead, just missed Nicholas, and it's put back out to neutral ice. Shot back in by the breakers. Pender sending it over to the near side now. Russell over to the other side of the ice. Abbott hopped on him, and as he and Spurl both reach for it, it goes off the sticks and comes down in the fourth row. A rare puck that's thrown back onto the ice. Just about three and a half minutes gone here in the third period. Face off once again inside the breakers zone. This time Reed steps in to take the draw and wins it to Earl. Earl throws it to the goal, stick saved by Yetman. Along the wall, good back pass found Nicholas, chance to go but broken up by the defense and Nicholas has to wait here as they're in an offside position. That puck was played in, but I think they did go offside. So the faceoff will be outside the blue line. Chafin to take the draw and wins it for the breakers. Back to Cadigan, he'll fire in. Sent out by Clarenville. Earl, cross ice pass, trying to spring Reed. That's broken up. Now Kennedy knocking the puck free to himself. All the way into the corner here along the near side. Kennedy comes out, takes a shot, hit the goaltender right in the chest. And once again, there's no rebound off Whiffen. Face-off controlled by the Breakers in the offensive zone. Lead him behind the net. Chafe gets himself around Pender. Chafe still there. Throws it back toward the goal. Hedges blocked it. Hedges will move it up the boards, but not outside the zone. Hard collision. Hedges loses his helmet in a collision with Kennedy. And the referee blows the whistle. I think they're likely going to say that Hedges played the puck with improper gear. In all fairness to Thomas Hedges, it was right there. What else could you do? But Hedges will reset that helmet, and he will go to the penalty box. Because if your helmet pops off, you can't play the puck. And Hedges knows that. So Southern Shore working the power play. And a power play goal here would pretty much put this thing out of reach. As Pye drives the net. Save made down low by Whiffen. Can't clear the zone, however. Kavanaugh's got it. Back at the line, Cadigan. He'll throw it toward the net. Pender will stop that one, send it out. Off the shin pads of Cadigan, but he keeps it away from Reed. Got it to Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh double teamed as he tried to shoot it in. Pender blocked that one. He'll throw it down the ice. Breakers, Pye forced to turn to his own blue line. Then a good long pass finds the mark. Pass into the skates of Brennan. Can't get a shot away. Down below the red line. 
Kavanaugh. Dishes off into the corner for Pye. Back to Kavanaugh. Now throw it across to the other side. Goalie got it with the stick. Had to be quick to get over to that one. Whiffin's done very, very well moving to that left side tonight. And he got that one with the lumber. Knocked it down and covered it. Still 51 seconds to go in that ineligible player penalty against Thomas Hedges of Clarenville. <laughs> Kept in as Kennedy backhanded the puck deep for the breakers. Into the corner now. Back to the line, Cadigan. He'll feed it back in. A lot of time coming off the clock here. Now just 15 seconds left in the power play as it's been stuck in that corner down there a long time. In front, Chafe can't get a shot away, and it's cleared out by Clarenville. Cadigan will let his teammates get back on side. They're tired. They're going to go off on a change. All five players will change as Cadigan dumped it in, and Hedges jumps out of the box. Hedges will go off the ice. Abbott will jump on, and we're back to five-on-five five play. Nicholas keeping it in for the breakers. Kavanaugh was waiting in behind the net. Calling for it at the point. Kavanaugh flips it out in front. Caribou get a stick to it, and they're away. Earl and Abbott. Abbott will take the shot glove save up high by Yetman. Looked like that would have gone over the top, but goaltender going to take no chances as he gloves it down and holds on. Shots are 32-21 in favor of Southern Shore. They lead it 4-1 with 13.05 to go in the hockey game. Nicholas and Delaney in the faceoff dot again. Puck rolls through some skates, now slapped into the corner. Nicholas, Abbott quickly closing in on him. Puck hops up in the air. Dalton now has to deal with Abbott. As Nicholas finds the puck, Hedges not able to glove it down. Hopefully he's got that chin strap done tight. I think that's going to be ruled a hand pass as it went from Hedges back to a teammate. Face off will be just outside the Clarenville blue line. Upshaw in to take the draw this time around against Delaney. Now Upshaw playing it back to his defense, Brown. Brown shoots it straight at us. Shout out to the guy in the toque who blocked it with the body and prevented it from hitting the equipment. Hedges sending it through from the point, kicked away by Yetman. As it comes out, Upshaw picking it up. Two on two here as Upshaw feeds it across, looking for Oates, broken up by Clarenville. They'll send it out, and Spurl will fire it right back in. Whiff it, out of the net to play it. Hedges has to move it quickly. Upshaw takes it on the board, plays it back into the middle. Oates to the backhander, O'Driscoll puts it home! 5-1! O'Driscoll got knocked down, paid the price, but he's able to put it past the keeper. Just getting it past that toe. O'Driscoll's third goal of the postseason. It's 5-1 breakers. on the clock in the third period. Lots of time, but 5-1 now the difference between the two teams. We've seen it from Southern Shore throughout this series. They tend to rely more and more on the younger players as the game goes on, getting them more and more ice time. 
trying to keep that energy going and tire their opponents. Clarenville responds in kind, sending out Gooby and Blackwood. These guys are super dangerous, high energy every single time, and the net is knocked off behind Yetman. Upshaw and Matthew Oates gonna get the assists. So first assist of the playoffs, second point of the playoffs, second point of the night for Matthew Oates. Welcome to the postseason number 28. And Upshaw picking up a helper as well, his second helper of the night, which gives him five on the postseason and eight points overall. Gooby over center, he'll rifle it in. Goaltender out of the net, play it around behind, and you can just see the eyes on Blackwood open up. Open cage, and he went after the puck, but couldn't get there. Back down the ice, shot blocked, as Smith managed to get the leg in front of that one, on what was a beautiful developing play for the Southern Shore Breakers. Nice drop pass. Cadigan keeps it in at the point. Moved around to the back wall. Smith knocked down hard by Stephen Oates. And that's going to be a penalty, and it's going to draw a crowd. As Oates gave his man a good shove, sent him into the wall, and now Oates and Oldford will give each other an extra shove as well. Don't think there's going to be extra any extra penalties on the play. They're just going to take number 29, Stephen Oates, and take him to the penalty box. And it is going to be boarding. Oates doesn't like the call as he slams the door, but it's perfectly fair. That shove was behind and from a dangerous distance away from the boards. That's one you gotta call. So Clarenville gets a power play. Delaney lost his edge, but he kept the puck in. Caribou need a goal on this power play. To get themselves back in this game and some time still on the clock. Pender dishes off. Creeping in was Dunahee. Instead, he'll give it to Reed. Back to Dunahee. Pender's waiting in the middle. Dunahee looking for a lane. Dunahee will take. Save made by Yetman. No, the referee did not blow the play down early because he thought Yetman had the puck, and the net came off again as that net has moved a lot in this hockey game. Only 28 seconds gone in the power play as Nicholas can be waved out of the draw. Pye will come in to take it against Donahue. Face-off is won by Clarenville. Donahue getting it back to the line. Earl moving in along the outside of the circle. Earl will snap a shot that's blocked. Pye can't clear the zone as they send it back to the line for Pender. Move back into Earl. Earl back to Pender. Back over to Earl. Bottom of the circle to Pender with the big drive. He scores! You're just waiting for that on the Clarenville power play. Give it to Pender, let him take the big shot. Leave it to Pender, let him take the big shot. They finally do when it's in, and they pick up a 10-minute misconduct in the process here, or somebody did. The only penalty box door that's open is on the home team. But the power play goal goes to Justin Pender of Clarenville as he unleashes that bullet from the blue line. Six goal of the playoffs. And who'd they call for the 10? It's clearly on the home team, the fans are booing. Now at 10-12 to go in the period, we should actually have somebody go into the box for the 10, they can't just send them to the showers. The referee indicated 10, they didn't put anybody in the box. Well, moving on. There's 10 minutes to go in this third period. It's 5-2. 
Southern Shore still in front. Clarenville get the power play goal to give themselves some life. Caribou will get it out of their end. Cadigan tries to fire it back in. Russell have blocked it. Now battle just outside the blue line as players collapse along the wall. Dug out by Clarenville. Fitzgerald will send it back to Oldford. Cross ice St. George gives it back to Oldford as they look to create some space. Back across, St. George will take it off the wall. Still forced to turn in his own end. St. George moves it ahead now to the wing. Abbott was knocked down, Oates will come in. Oates, waits, waits, fired, oh! Matthew Oates looking for that top corner and he just put it high. He had all day, but again, for not the first time in this hockey game we've seen, the shooter's waiting for A.J. Whiffin to make that first move and he just won't, he will not bite. He's got tremendous patience. And so Driscoll attacks again and the goalie gets a whack up in the mask and Whiffin goes down. Those sticks came up at the side of the net as players fought for position, and Whiffin got one right upside the mask. Whiffin's gonna take off that mask and breathe for a moment, adjust things. Going to bring him a towel. Maybe a tiny bit of the, the blade of the stick was able to get through the mask, or maybe it just, the stick hits the mask and turns it a little way, and part of it just kind of digs in. Either way, Whiffin's going to be okay. Gets that mask back on. He just got shaken up a little, but he's all right. Brett Hatfield is here as the backup goaltender for Clarenville. But despite the five goals in, Whiffins had a strong game. He's got 29 saves. So there it is, the assists on the goal to Pender. Officially went to Blackwood and Earl. Blackwood's second assist, third point of the postseason. Earl getting his seventh helper and 17th point as we get a nice and call. And they did call the 10 minute misconduct. And that went to number 29, Stephen Oates of Southern Shore. And the referee is back over at the timekeeper box. Relays a message, we're good to go. 8.34 remaining, three goal game. Clarenville with one here in the third period. They need three more. Force a tie and get to overtime. Force it was in overtime back in game seven in the semifinal. But they booked their spot here in this Herder Championship. Cadigan kept it in. That one takes a deflection off Hedges. Just went wide of the post. Goalie never saw it. And then Kavanaugh with a great shot as he was fed just outside the slot. And Whippet scoops it up with the glove. Southern Shore coming within a couple of inches of their sixth. As it just went off the defender and just missed the post. And then a great feed for Kavanaugh. Clearly, Whiffin's vision is just fine as he scooped that one up at the glove. Southern Shore behind the net. They'll throw it out in front, taken away by Clarenville. Blackwood's on the rush. Blackwood gets slammed against the bench. Got the puck in, though. Yetman out to play it. Can't clear the zone as it comes back out in front of the net. Three white shirts there, but not in time as Yetman gets the glove down on top of the puck in the blue paint. 7.51 remaining in the third. 5-2. Ooh, 
Ooh. I didn't know you could play Seven Nation Army on only a tuba. Shots are 35-25 in favor of Southern Shore, who lead the game by three. Face-off won by Southern Shore, and a good effort by Kennedy to get the puck out. Then in on goal, Houlihan ducks it around. No, kept out by Whiffen. Houlihan on the break, and he can't beat the goaltender. Southern Shore exploiting that speed. If they just turned nothing into something repeatedly in this hockey game, and they're continuing the pressure on Clarenville. Side of the goal, can't get it in front. Clarenville eventually able, can't get outside the zone. Houlihan again, waits around the goaltender. No, Whiffen comes across to the left. And the puck's still loose as a player gets brought down and a penalty assessed to Clarenville. Hard, hard work by the Southern Shore Breakers. Houlihan denied not once but twice on glorious scoring opportunities, one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. He doesn't get the goal, but he draws the penalty, and with only seven minutes to go, that in itself is huge. Smith in the box for the trip. And Southern Shore looking to put the dagger in this one. Kavanaugh digs the puck out of the crowd. Lifted back to the line by Pender, but Brennan held it in. Comes back to Pender again. He'll fire it all the way down the ice. 30 seconds gone in the penalty against Smith for tripping. Southern Shore on the power play as they skate in. Over to Kavanaugh here on the near side. Back to the line for... Cadigan never got there. Clarenville cleared it out, and they'll make a line change. Some fresh legs onto the ice for Southern Shore as well as they send it up for Dalton. Nearly lost the handle on it, put himself offside as Blake Dalton was coming over the line. So 55 seconds left in the power play for the Breakers. Dalton's in over the blue line this time. Tries to split the D. Gets a shot on goal. Whiffen made the save. Quality scoring chance after quality scoring chance for the Breakers. If not for Whiffen, this might be 10-2. Kennedy playing it back into his own end. Dalton will give chase. Both teams change up a couple of players. Just 25 seconds left in the power play as Upshaw does a little give and go with the player behind the net. Reed not giving Upshaw any kind of space. Donahue after the puck as well, but they'll get it around him using the extra man. Brought in by Upshaw, stops just as he came over the line, over to Pye, in front of the net, backhander, Nicholas, no! Goaltender doesn't know where it is, he kicked it in his own net! That looked like it was in. Referee said no. The puck, as the goaltender stands up, is standing in the blue paint. Whiffen has no idea where it is, and it goes in. Kavanaugh will lead the line back to the bench for fist bumps. A power play goal with just four seconds left in that power play. And that one is going to stick a fork in this hockey game, making it 6-2 to two in favor of Southern Shore.
regardless of what team you're cheering for, you just feel gutted when you see something like that happen. And Whiffen has played so well, and just for the goof for it to go in the net like that. Whiffen with another save as he puts that into the corner. Kavanaugh is going to get credit for the goal set up by Nicholas. And just 4.25 to go as the puck goes back into the Clarenville end. 6-2, Southern Shore Breakers in front here in game three. Reminder, game four, once again here on AOTV, will be Saturday night, 7.30 puck drop. Back at the East Link Events Center in Clarenville. Maybe a little home ice action. The Caribou can get themselves back in. It is Upshaw tried to make a slap pass across to Brennan. Broken up by the one guy back. And Blackwood racing down the ice. Blackwood puts one on. Steered away off the goaltender stick. Pender leans into one. And that one will go off the glass. It does stay in play. Ricochets all the way down the ice. Intercepted by Donaghy. He'll bring it in. Connor Donaghy from the slot. Save made, Yetman. Puts himself in perfect position to make the stop on Donaghy. Makes it look easy, and I assure you it is not. 3.32 remaining in the hockey game. 6-2 Southern Shore. Some fans are headed for the exits. I assume they're getting a head start in the long drive back to Clarenville. Do we get a timeout? Timeout. Yep, timeout called by Clarenville. Why not? They've got a face-off in the offensive zone. As good a chance as you might get right now. Even if Clarenville cannot complete a miraculous comeback in this game, you don't want to roll over. And just give Southern Shore the impression you're going to hand them the herd. You want to send a message. You want to make them work for it. And let them know that when you get back to your barn, it's not going to be so easy. Net's empty. Clarenville pulled the goaltender. They're going for it. They need four. They've got three and a half minutes. Earl rifted up high. Houlihan. Can't chip it past Pender. Good job to keep it in. Spurl will get it out. It'll bounce down the ice. It's going to go wide of the net. They do not call icing as Kennedy and Hedges were right there. In behind the net, Houlihan. Can't get it out in front. Blocked by Clarenville and Delaney. Pick it up, play it back to the D. Hedges and Delaney just trying to keep it away from Kennedy. He's really pushing down there in that corner. It'll come back out. Spurl measures, fires, blocked. And Riley Spurl can't hit the net. Clarenville needs to get back down the ice in a hurry, but they're still hemmed in their own end. Delaney skates behind his net. Made the pass to the side, knocked forward. Reed can't get it into the offensive zone as Cadigan stopped him up. Back to the neutral zone. Clarenville will come again. Russell's pass cross ice picked off by Nicholas. Pender took it back away. He finds Reed. Now they're into the offensive ice. Russell played it in behind the net. Nicholas will send it around the boards. Does not clear the zone, though, as St. George held it in for Clarenville. 2.10 to go as the puck goes down the ice for an icing call against the Southern Shore Breakers. So 2.09 to go, six on five, but the net empty for Clarenville. Face off is inside the breaker's end. Russell, Sparks, Abbott, Blackwood, St. George and Pender. But the face off won by Southern Shore. Dalton along the glass and it gets out. Russell with a good job to keep it away from Dalton. Keeping it away from Blake Dalton after Daniel had done the work to get it out. Now it goes out. This one's going to roll wide of the net again as they try to spring Blake Dalton to go toward the empty net. 
That's another icing call against the Breakers. One forty-nine remaining. Donahue, Reed, Earl, Delaney all back onto the ice. Hedges and Pender getting the double shift here for Clarenville late in the game. Off the wall, it'll be chipped out. Pender going to glove it down for himself, feed it back forward. Hedges will rifle it in right on to goal. Thrown into the corner, Donahue threw it back toward the net. Goaltender wobbled a little bit, but that was too tight an angle to hit. And then it takes the deflection up and out. 90 seconds remaining. Shots are 41-29 in favor of the Breakers, who lead 6-2 here in game three. Delaney and Nicholas in the face-off circle. And Delaney wins the draw. Pender leans into the big one, save made off the blocker by Yetman. Trying to dig it out in the corner. Reed will find it. Into Earl. Earl with a shot. Hit the goalie up high. Might have caught him in the mask, but kept out. Earl needs speed on Pye. Has it. So Pye can't get a shot at the empty net. Clarenville will knock it in from center. Then it'll be lifted off the glass, but not outside the zone. 105 remaining. As the puck is into the slot, Reed settles it down. Fired, ripped it high. This one will come off the glass and a chance to go now for Brandon Pye. Puts on the brakes. Pye throws it forward, Kavanaugh offside. He and Nicholas have to come back out. No one will get a shot at the empty net as we have just 45 seconds remaining. Up ahead, Earl just slams it in. Reed chasing after it against Brennan. Played around the boards by the Breakers. Into the middle, St. George. Unable to make the stop, they'll get it to Brennan. Brennan will fire and score to make it seven to two and put the game away with the empty net goal, just 29 seconds remaining in the third period. So Brennan scores into the empty net, which is 29.4 seconds to go. Clarenville has everyone but the goaltender back on the ice. They've only got five guys. You either need another forward or a goaltender, pick one. Linesman checks the net, it's okay, and there goes A.J. Whippen. Back into the cage for the final ticks of the hockey game. It's going to go down as a seven to two victory for the Southern Shore Breakers as they're gonna take game number three and have a three games to none series lead. As Smith is forced into his own end for Clarenville, he'll give it to Oldford. Final 15 seconds. As Clarenville sends a long pass up, doesn't hit anybody down at the other blue line or at least no one in a white jersey. Southern Shore will take control. Final seconds of the hockey game, they'll skate to center, dump it in softly and the Breakers can celebrate what might be the last game on home ice this season. Three games down in this Herder final, three games in favor of the Southern Shore Breakers. This one, the first that was by a wide margin, seven to two, Breakers take it over the Clarenville Ford Caribous. And the Breakers raise their sticks to the rafters and salute the crowd here at the Ken Williams Southern Shore Arena. Again, in their mind, they don't plan to be back here for game number five Sunday night. But the Caribous will have something to say about that on Saturday for game number four. The series is always different when it changes buildings and Clarenville will have home ice with their back to the wall. And maybe that home ice advantage will be just what they need to make this thing a series. 
Thanks so much for being with us here on AOTV. Again, we have coverage of the entire series, no matter how many games it ends up going. And that includes game four coming up Saturday night, 7.30 puck drop in Clarenville. For all of us at AOTV, my name is Matt Little saying thank you so much for watching stream. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you again on Saturday. Final score once again, Southern Shore Breakers 7, Clarenville Caribou's 2, and we'll catch you again this weekend.